If you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe, click the notification bell, and the like button. Then check back with me from time to time and see my new videos. Once we get to a thousand, we're going to do a drawing. I had a drawing at 100 and only 30% signed up. With those odds, it could be a 1 in 300 chance. Subscribe. Check me out, guys. Hey, YouTube. It's Sean, Griffin RC Planes. Losing my voice again. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, the Tower Hobbies uproar is ready for uh, us to put the AR-636 receiver in. I've got all the control surfaces uh, hooked up and basically centered, and, and they're all operational. And then the way we're going to put the receiver in is we're going to have to mount it upside down. And I, I'm almost thinking we need to put it in sideways. I'll kind of show you a few different uh, different options and see what you guys think about it. So I'll tell you what, let's look at that right now. So if we're going with it this way, but it'll be sitting underneath this. This is where the wings tighten in. Either like that, but if you center it inside the fuselage, which it needs to be centered, then the little stubby antenna is not sticking out perfectly straight. It's going to be bent in one direction or the other. So then I was thinking that it might need to go like this. You know, that kind of number. It, it's really tight. Or it needs to go pins facing towards the front down in there like so. So anyways, I'm going to play with it a little bit and figure out what's the best way uh, thinking about the antennas and then that's how we'll mount it. So in the previous video we installed both these servos and I just put them like this just so they could be kind of catty corner from, from each other where uh, you know they wouldn't get in the way of one another. However, this one here with this awesome little little block, you know the how it combines all, all three push rods, you know one coming from the servo and then each elevator half has its own. I think that is just the coolest thing. But there's not enough travel with the servo positioned here. You can see the tubes. Even if I trim the tubes and stuff, it, it still won't work. So I need to move the servo up here. So let's do that right now and we'll see if they're both going to work in that uh, position. All right. The wires are getting real <clears throat> close right here, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a, a little bit of sanding. Much better.
like so. There it is. Now let's see what that's going to do. Let me get a servo tester. All right, let's get the wings. Here's the bottom side. We'll look at one of the wings here. For those of you that might not have been following along, you'll never guess what this servo adapter is made out of. You'll never guess in a million years. One on each side. And here's the uh, servo compartment for the elevator and rudder. Let's see if I can get a little, get it clear. Watch it operate. Kind of a close, uh, close call, but they're not touching, so we'll uh, we'll take it. And the bottom side got dual elevators, so it's pretty tricky to get these guys, uh, you know, exactly the same on each side. It takes quite a bit of fine tuning. That's how my Tower Hobbies Edge 540 is. Boy, it took me a long time to get those straightened out. All right, get a little demonstration of all the control surfaces here. I know it's going to be kind of hard to see, but there's everything, everything moving around like it, like it should. And then center. Okay guys, like I just said, I'll get the 636 receiver mounted the best way for the antennas and then we'll start our uh, program series. I'll get it bound up to DX7S and and then we'll start uh, we'll start programming it together. Hopefully we can get uh, the whole programming thing done within two three weeks and then we can have a maiden flight. I got to put the landing gear on and some other stuff but I didn't want the landing gear getting in the way of programming it, so I just left that off for now. And then the motor's fixed. We just got to put it back on. So, all right, guys. Hey, that's all for this one. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And then uh, right here, ring this bell so you don't uh, miss my next video. And until next time, you'll see me here. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Okay. All right.